Me, me. Wily Coyote, genius, super genius, Coyote, Ralph Wolf, okay, not me, just my twin brother. He's the most famous predator of Looney Tunes. You know, if you don't count Taz and maybe Sylvester. I always found Wily a very interesting tune, wanting to always catch the Roadrunner. However, unlike duos like Tom and Jer Jerry, or even Bugs and Elmer Fudd, Wily was more unique, because it was the mainly the failure of, of his inventions, and then backfiring, and his fanaticness causing him to fail. So, Wily, I think, would be a very fun character to play as in multiverses. He's my second most wanted character, actually, only behind Daffy. I just think Wily would just be a fun character to, you know, use his traps and having them backfire on him. So, let's get into the nitty-gritty of things. <laughs> Wily has a unique gimmick, where he won't have any cooldown for any of his attack slash traps. However, they will do recoil damage, meaning that they will hit him back. This is of course staying true to the original Roadrunner shorts. Now before you say anything, I know all of you are gonna think I'm gonna base his design off his Looney Tunes cartoons design like I did for Daffy. Well, I do like this design, I do think, however, it wouldn't really work. And I mean, Taz doesn't use this design from the show, so I don't think every Looney Tune character doesn't need to. So I think you would have this design more closely accurate to his canon one, like in Space Jam 2. But, 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 I do think that his design should lean closer, in fact, or just full-on reference, his design from his first two appearances, from Fast and the Furious and Beep Beep. Because I actually think it'd be a really fun design to, you know, harken back to. And also, you know, his eyes turn white whenever he gets shocked in Fast and the Furious and gets blown up, and I think that looks cool. But, you know, I highly doubt they would probably actually do that if he gets into the game, they would probably just base it off his canon design. <laughs> Now, I, I know this might be the most controversial, but I think Wily should have a voice. Yes, I know Wily is a silent character like Tom and Jerry. However, there has been times where he has very extended dialogue. How do you do? Oh, uh, <laughs> allow me to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Coyote. Wile E. Coyote. Uh, I am a genius by trade. These are the tracks of the common western rabbit, Rabbitus idioticus delicious. Uh, I believe that that's the scientific term. But my even after the golden age. But here's how I think it should be balanced. Wally will be silent, though, however, on rare occasions, he will talk. Let's say three out of ten matches you do. He'll say some lines occasionally, but that'd be it. So finally, let's get into the actual moves themselves. Uh, disclaimer, his uh, side and down specials in the air are going to be drawn because uh, there's no model for his side B, uh, side special, I mean, God, and also there's apparently no magnet model for SFM, just clearing that out there. Honest, unlike with Daffy, where it was obvious what his ult should be, with Wily, it's kind of hard to decide. Now, one that is a no-brainer is his Space Jam jersey, the original or the new one. It doesn't really matter. You could even have both. Apparently, Taz is going to have both, so why not? But also, I think it would be kind of cool 
for Ralph Wolf to be an alternative costume. And I generally think they could make Ralph Wolf look slightly different from Wiley. Maybe based him off his first appearance, I don't know. Maybe the Superman suit he wears at Fast and the Furious, I don't know. But I think one free ult should be him wearing a handkerchief, like he does in most of his shorts that he appears in. Kind of like how the Iron Giant has, you know, his... Uh, you know, Superman emblem as a costume, you know. I feel like Wiley should have one, too.